There's a piece up on the iBank today. It's an interview, I guess, with, uh, what's her name, uh, Shelby? Sarah Schaefer. Now, do you know Sarah's work? Yeah, she's uh, with Nikki Glaser, who was in a few weeks ago. Though. Love the Nikki Glaser. Yeah. Adore the Nikki Glaser. Now, Sarah does a show where she brings people on her podcast, and you have to lie. That's great. Yeah. Just, so just, you're just lying about everything in the yeah. Just the, all your stories are lies. <laughs> you just say these things happen, and they did not. Now, for us, we would just call that the Ron and Fez show. <laughs> but around here, who do you think is the best and worst liar? Fez is the best liar because he 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 lied about his cat for so long, and we actually didn't know he was the cat was gone until he was dined out. And yet, facts are very important to Fez. He likes to say things exactly as they were. That's why when he does lie, we have a tendency to fall for it. Yeah, Shelby by far the worst liar. Don't like his lying. No. Now the worst liar I've ever seen in my life played on Big Brother this summer, Beast Mode Cowboy. And he just could not lie to people. And if you would start and ask him questions like, am I going to be voted out? He would turn around <laughs> and not be able to face the person. Oh, come on, dude. He's not a good liar. You have to have that cold blood in you. Yeah. I felt like I could lie from, like, from an infant on. I never had any problem with it. And I never felt bad for lying. No. I, I, yeah, I, I think they'll just come out. No, who cares? First lie I remember saying is, I love you too. Like, you know how it's hard for some people to say that? Never was for me. Just throw yeah, it I love you. That's why I'm not putting on a scumbag right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can count on me. I'll be here forever. You have nothing to worry about. I'm not telling anyone. Like a rock. Yeah. You're a pretty good liar, though, right, Chris? Yeah, I consider myself an all right liar. Just fucking making shit up. In honor of this podcast that uh, Sarah's done, tell us a lie. I got mugged on the way to the fucking uh, onto Holy shit. You okay? to work today. Oh my God. You okay? The guy, um, he pushed me into a puddle. I mean, I got my clothes got. <laughs> that part's up. stupid. He pushed me into a puddle. <laughs> yeah. That pushed me into a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> What only happened to a child? <laughs> he was a very large man. The guy yeah. was like 6'8". Yeah. I guess he was a, some sort of career uh, criminal. Because yeah. I don't even have a wallet on me. I don't know how I'm going to get home. Yeah. I'm really upset. I, guess, I'm, I'm, I, I didn't even get to file a police report. Mm. <sighs> I'm going to have to fucking look out for this guy when I get out of work tonight. I got caught in a lie by like the whole school. Oh, I love I this. After I moved in like 7th grade because there's this massive... House like it was insanely big, a couple houses down from me that had an elevator in it. But the bus stop was like right at that house, so I would like get off there. So people just assumed that I lived there. So then everybody was like, "There's like some rumor going around that I lived in this massive house that had like an elevator." <laughs> I just went with it. Like, yeah. yeah, I lived there. Sometimes there's parties there. One time, <laughs> one time the elevator got stuck at a party, and then Sting was in it. Yeah. <laughs> So you you tried to tell the kids you were Gatsby and you were getting attention. Yeah, and I don't know how they found that you were lying. I th there was like another kid that like everybody knew, like he was like a popular kid that was on like the same street. And then mm -hmm. some people were over there, like, oh yeah, is that the kid Shelby's house? He's like really loaded. Then the kid <laughs> was like, no, that's not his house. <laughs> he doesn't live there. Yeah. So they like they like walked by my real house. I was probably like mowing the lawn. They're like, "See, he's right. He's right there." <laughs> Don't believe where I'm at. <laughs> believe where I say I'm from. You're just fucking walking around school in a kerchief. But see, I think like kids that move around a lot, like if they have salesman dad or military family, I think they are forced to lie a lot because you have to keep fitting into new situations. Oh yeah. So they have to show up. Change their sneakers when they find out, no, these aren't the cool fucking kicks. Yeah. Listen to different music. You know what I mean? Like, you're forced to adapt. And when you adapt, that's kind of a lie, right? Yeah, that is a lie because it's not you. You're, you're changing yourself. Well, how's it not you, though? Even if you change yourself, you're still you. Like, if you change your opinion, yeah. how are you not you? You're just you with another opinion. Yeah, that's changing an opinion, but I think you're doing that. But say if a kid moving to a new town, they're they not they don't maybe not necessarily like whatever whatever the music is. Right. 
But, but so what? Like they like suppose you just show up at a new place. Yeah. And everyone likes South Park and they go, Do you like South Park? Why wouldn't you go, Yeah, it's fucking great, like you guys think. <laughs> I think I even showed up on the first day going like, Should I say I'm from Oregon or should I say I'm from California? That'll be cooler than I know. Smart. No, they're gonna ask me about it and I don't know anything about California. I'll just go with Oregon. See, a lot of kids that move around a lot, they uh they become actors. Because they're forced to take on new characters. Oh, wow. Never knew that. Yeah. Well, you ought to listen to a little fucking thing we do here called the Ron Bankton interview. I do, but I, 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 didn't put two, I didn't put two and two together. That's only four. How fucking hard is that? It's fucking hard for it's me. It's minor addition. It's so funny the way you guys have gotten the old fucking chair back to me, too. It's fucking hilarious. I see. Selby's so fucking crazy. He laughed at that when it's his fuck up. Uh, Jay in Toronto, you're on the run of face. Show. It's fucking drives me nuts. You're on with uh, Ron, Chris, and Bill Jr. Hello? Yeah, go ahead, JJ. Oh, yeah, you know, I thought you said something about Toronto. I was confused. Yeah, they, um, they say you're from Toronto. Oh, uh, well, they're, they're wrong. I said Florida, but, you know, good hustle. Who's um, on those fucking phones? That's clocks. Is he forced to be so quiet he can't get information out of people? <laughs> you shut your fucking mouth, clocks! I never see it when any of you guys are in there that you turn and yell at everyone to shut up before you talk. And I always notice that Fez does that. Fez, you like it better back in there? Yeah, I chose to be in here, so I'm fine. That's great. All right. Um, <laughs> so, Jay, what can we do for you? I was calling about I got caught in a lie, uh... About three months ago, I was flying to Philly from Florida. I was sitting down. This guy sat down next to me and kept trying to talk to me when I had my headphones in. And he tapped my shoulder like three times, and I just kind of looked at him like nodded and pretended to listen. And then I know a little bit of sign language, so I like signed him and I was like, my name is Jay. I like sandals or some weird shit like that. And he looked at me, and he just looked confused, and then he just started signing away in American Sign Language. And I just had to like look at him as we were taking off be like, I don't know sign language. I just don't want to talk to you. And it was a very awkward rest of the flight. Wow, that is weird, man. They don't lie on a... You can't leave on a plane. You can't even go to yeah. another row. Miss, would you uh, switch places with me? I lied to this person next <laughs> to me. so awkward. And it's made it uncomfortable. I'll tell them to put your Bloody Mary over there. Yeah, you uh, walk back and you guys can badmouth me while I sit up there and read a magazine. Just trying to make this as comfortable as possible. Sports Illustrated. <laughs> we'll meet at the front with our carry-on. I've got a Vanity Fair. When you're on an airplane, you like to have like a big, thick fucking magazine. You're like this Vanity Fair will last me a while. That's how I shop. But I just by thickness. I like. I just, I just, <laughs> no, what's that? What? No, because <laughs> it sounds like you're shopping for God. I'm not. It's magazine. Magazine thickness. Uh, Jason, you're on. Uh, Jason, you're on the Run and Fed show. Stanley. Stanley, don't you say you never suck cock when all those buttholes have been rimmed and you got Fezzy's face paint on your chin. Stanley, Stanley, don't you say you never suck cock. <sighs> I don't suck dick. Oscar, you're on the run of first show. <laughs> that was very good. I, I like that last call. Anyways, uh, yeah, I just wanted to complain about the uh, the interns. They have, like, uh, I don't know what it is. They have, like, no drive or something. I mean, you ask Clocks if he thinks he's the best, who he thinks the best intern was, and I was just thinking in my head, uh, he should fucking say him. I would have said I'm the best fucking intern. And not only that, but, I mean, how many times have they fucked up on getting name and locations? Uh, how many Fucking clocks came in with a bit that probably took about 15 minutes to think of, okay? Uh, he didn't have an intro, an outro to that little bit. He didn't even have good questions. It takes, like, fucking an hour tops to, do, to, to create something like that. Oh, and not only that, but... Uh, I, I'm grateful that y'all sent me uh, a DVD, but y'all didn't send me the one y'all sent on the air, which, I mean, it doesn't matter to me, but, I mean, come on. Of course it does. What were you supposed to win? No, no, it doesn't. Uh, I think it was The Canyon. Uh-huh. But, I mean, I got a Waterboy by, uh, instead, signed by uh, fucking Fonzie. That was, that was a prize last week. 
Yeah, but I, on, when Chris was said what I won, he said that I won the canyon signed by that other lady. That that was sent out to the person that that won the canyon. I. So just, I remember they're just taking fucking up terrible. Are you calling me a liar? What the fuck, you reptilian? <laughs> He's right. You are reptilian. Cold All right, Oscar. Sorry about that, buddy. Hey, hey, it's it's not a problem. I'm just. Uh, I love the show, guys. And uh, Ron, you're the fucking best, man. Um, I don't know why, but we were having a lot of fuck ups with the prizes. Now this Sarah Sh Schaefer thing, right? Uh, with. Lying. You say you're really good at it, right? Yeah. Chris? Yeah. You can tell us anything and it'll sound believable, right? Yeah. Tell us about you and your boyfriend, where you went last night and what kind of sex you had. Well, we went to the movies and then, you know, it was our movie night. It's, it's Tuesday nights. <laughs> I do believe him. Right? I do fucking believe him. And, and, and it was like a big multiplex. All right, here's what I want to do. Chris, you go first. Okay. Two lies and a truth. Okay. And we'll try to guess what the truth is. Okay. Uh, I've been arrested four times, and one of them was a felony. I, I was the valedictorian of my high school. I graduated from bartender school in 2006. Uh, I'm going to say you are not the Val Victorian of your high school because you're too stupid. Oh. What do you think, Shelby? <laughs> yeah, it's the Val Victorian. Although I never heard you say that you went to bartending school. So which one's the truth? The truth is the the truth is the first one where I I, I got bagged for a felony. Right, so the last two were lies? Yeah. <laughs> you were supposed to tell two truths oh! and a lie, weren't they? Or was it two lies and a truth? I thought it was two truths and a lie. <laughs> Are those two lies and a truth? All right, two lies and a truth. Okay. <laughs> so we all picked easy enough. All right, Shelby, two lies and a truth. Two lies and a truth. Oh. I suffered a compound fracture in my arm once while skateboarding. I had a 4.0 average in high school. And I used to live in Canada. <laughs> well, we know you never lived in Canada. That's bullshit. And you were just ripping me off when I said about <laughs> Victoria in high, my high school. It's the fucking first one's the truth. Uh, what was the first one again? Suffered a compound fracture in my arm while skateboarding. I'm going to say that the truth is you had a 4.0 in high school. You said... Uh, compound fracture. Compound fracture. Which one? Is the truth. Compound fracture. You fucking idiot. Got it. It was so far-fetched, I thought maybe it was true. <laughs> no, it, was the, it was one of the first times I that, thought of like comedy as like really dark later thinking about it because I like was... Flew, flew up in the air and landed and all the kids started like laughing at me not knowing it was like half part of a bone sticking out of me and then I came up just like freaking out and then they all their faces just changed and then later on after the pain had subsided and I was like in the hospital I was like well it's kind of funny that it was just laughing at me and I was just dying there that's that's uh you should just put your hat on it when the bone was sticking out <laughs> So I actually I felt for I, I lost one there. I nailed you directly. But I thought there might be a weird thing that maybe he was smarter. Oh no. I was um I was bouncing back between those two, but then I figured I don't think he cares enough about grades to try to get to a four point oh grade average. I was only half smart. Like English and history I had an A, but then, you know, science and math was like a C and all my teachers like I don't understand. Why don't, Why are you awful with this and great at other things? Alright. Uh, what's this with two lies and a truth with me? Yeah, two lies and a truth. Uh, been involved in a couple of abortions. One, the girl said, don't even take me. Uh, once got busted twice for dealing in the same week and OD'd in that same week while in high school. And once was in, involved in jumping a minority for being a minority. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
pick the truth. All right, I'm gonna work this out. I think you said you can't OD before before on the air. Well, I'll say this: oh. that did not go to the hospital. It okay. was more of a freak out from PCP meltdown. The school found out about it, sent me home. Oh, wow, that's... but I did not go to the hospital. But in hindsight, I should have. Jesus. Then that's the truth. That's the truth. Those two are lies. I think the truth is the abortions. All three were the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's a winner. <laughs> what a week that was. Yeah. Once at an Aerosmith show, once in fucking trainer where the motherfuckers, the cops stole my fucking money and dope and let me go. Oh, that's the Then worst. I was dealing. Yeah. Which led to a lot of fucking problems was, down the road. Was it weight? Yeah. I mean, I was dealing fucking, you know, the same PCP I OD'd on. Which one was the guy wearing the hockey jersey? That was the Aerosmith show. Motherfuckers. I actually thought to myself, when Aerosmith finds out they're busting people, they're going to be here in a heartbeat, probably, to pay all of our tabs and get us out of here. We're here to bail out all these young fans. I really fans. thought they cared. <laughs> I thought that they cared. Uh, Brian, you're on the Run and Face show. Hey, how you doing? Good. Shelby is the biggest liar. I caught him in so many lies from different podcasts, but that house thing is from that movie Lucas in the 80s. He, he's even You're uh, right. <laughs> yep. You fucking just stole the movie Lucas. I remember Lucas now. Oh my God. I can give you the address. Yeah, Fuck it's from Lucas. the movie. All right, so this uh, podcast is called Lies, and they're going to have Colin Quinn on this year. Jim Gaffigan, Jenny Slate is some of the guests. It starts October October 7th. And I know they're doing something from the New York uh, Comedy Fest. Sarah Schaefer. It's all up on the Interbang today. It sounds like a fucking great idea because I hate... You know what I hate about this uh, whole generation of comics? It just feels like they should be... Talking about themselves masturbating and sharing shitting. everything. Yeah. Stop it and start entertaining people. Yeah, I'm going to be listening. Stop fucking boring everyone with the truth and write some fucking material. Make people fucking freak out over things that aren't true. I believe she, uh, she, uh, she's recorded all of them. So now they're just waiting to release them, the, the podcast. Uh, Aaron says she's uh, coming to the Unmasked with Andrea Martin tonight at 6 o'clock. And is it too weird to wear her SCTV Edith Prickly costume? And I say it's not even slightly weird. That's fucking perfect. Just like when I take Chris Stanley to a Giants game and he wears the helmets, pads, and fucking screams, put me in. That's right. Put me in through the whole game. They got to fucking hold me back. And when he yells, put me in, he points at his dick in another man's asshole. That was supposed to be our joke. <laughs> oh, I thought it was part of lies. <laughs> no, that was 100% true. Hey, Hunter, you're on the Run Fest show. Hey, uh, well, I'm not surprised about that because Hicks wears a helmet to the grocery store. But uh, his name is Pepper Hicks. He sucks a lot of dicks. He cannot talk because his tongue does not fit in his mouth. It's fucking hurtful, dude, all right? All these songs are making me look really gay. All right, tell me whether you think this is a lie or the truth. All right. Chris Stanley has a great future in radio. Lie. <laughs> lie or the truth. Shelby has a great future in radio. Why? Liar the truth. Fez Watley has any kind of future in radio. Any kind? Yeah. Should we say at the same time? It's any kind. It could be anything. So true? It could be literally anything just in radio? <laughs> just owning a radio? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, he got you back, though, Chris. You don't fuck with him. Not when he's in the other room. God, I hate this chair. Hate it. I despise it. Bum, 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 ba, da, bum. I know for a fact he doesn't own a radio. Really, cell phone can be a radio now. So Yes, you're going to fucking tell me I'm very familiar with the fucking Sirius XM app. 